Hi everyone and welcome back to another Borkino game video. Today's video is DK2, Illusion Connect, just going back into the flow of things. Let's go ahead and jump right into this and cover the partners. All the new heroes that we can collect, I am very interested in that the most because new heroes means new waifus, alright. So we've already seen Anna, Baroness, Aileen, Edward, then Forces, Emma, QB. This is a new one. This looks absolutely cool. I'm not sure if this was a free character, but she's definitely a waifu. I like the aesthetics and everything going on here. Astaroth, this is a very cool waifu. I like the little blood syringe or this syringe going on here. Little flame heart pretty much appearing. Lunar, you got me. This one, I almost thought this was a girl, but I think this is a dude. If you put on the helmet, you wouldn't even be able to tell, but definitely a cool looking character right there. Then you have someone like Domessa. This reminds me of Viseria from Epic 7. Definitely a character that I would like to pull. Interesting that she is a guardian. If I first saw her, she'd be like, you know, like an archer, attacker type sort of thing. And then we have Yasmin. I've seen her before. Grant definitely looks like a guardian. Interesting looking character. Not really. Sort of standard paladin look. Abby, the waifu, I wish I got a copy of her. Whenever her banner reappears, I'm definitely going to be pulling for her. Charlotte, you know, Sherlock Holmes sort of deal there. Ming, I've seen this. Christine, this is probably the waifu that I want the most. And it's interesting that she's a light-based character. Because usually light-based characters don't deal that much. They're more about like buffing and sort of keeping themselves alive or keeping others alive. So I'm interested to see when her banner pretty much appears or if I can get a copy of her and test her out. But, you know, as you know, you need sort of dupes in Illusion Connect in order for characters to fully function. Sakai, this is a new character. I don't really resonate with it for some reason. He's a guardian. I see, like, a lot of new guardian classes, which is very interesting to me because guardian was never, like, a standout class. But, you know, maybe they have, like, a prominent period because of all of them, you know, pretty much appearing. Jemmy, you've seen that before. Jason looks pretty snazzy. You know, he's a healer. I am very interested to see like what is up with like the tank meta or if there's a tank meta that's going to be appearing in Illusion Connect. I'm gonna have to like catch up on all these like different things and read up. Nafia, we've pretty much seen her burial looking as majestic as always. Seeger, this was a character that I saw quite a bit of buzz on and hopefully her banner reappears. I want to see what she's all about, but she seemed to be like the most hype unit. Out of all of like the units that appeared, she's like the one that made like the biggest difference on the scene from what I could see on Reddit. Ludwig, very pompous looking character, Ludwig from Epic 7 has sort of like the same vibe like this character is provoking, right? And as far as everything goes, the character that I really want out of everything would probably be Christine and definitely Seeger. Like these two characters, definitely the best and Abby for waifu reasons, even though she wasn't like the most standout waifu. And just like going over like a few things, like going over through Reddit and stuff, I saw a lot of people have like awakened characters. I am nowhere near like awakening anything. So hopefully one day I can awaken my Miyuki. She is like the only one that I really care about. And let's go ahead and just jump into some dreams. Let's see if I can do anything with the teams that I have. You know, chapter 18, that's where I'm on. I know that chapter 19 is going to be the newest chapter. But, you know, let's see if I still got it or if I can still sort of play the game. And the reason for my break was just I wanted to sort of readjust to the game. I just wanted to see how things flow. And I was just getting a little bit burnt out on everything. And hopefully with me, like, taking a break and coming back to Illusion Connect, maybe I can, like, you know dust off the rust and play the game a little bit more and see how like things just sort of flow because I do like Illusion Connect while it's not like the most game breaking like newest thing it's always just something that I like coming back to I want to do some summons I have some summon tickets obviously and I just want to wait for a better banner like maybe a Christine banner or a Miyuki banner but at the end of the day I just want to see like where Illusion Connect is going I like how there has been a constant flow of updates to Illusion Connect. It doesn't seem like the game ever really slowed down like as I stopped playing. If anything, it sped up. Like there's been so much content in the game. In some ways, it's almost hard for me to keep up. Like the Ares Battlefield, I don't think I'm prepared for that. Honestly, I don't think I'm prepared for any of the new content that has been like released into the game, but I'm more than happy to put my two cents in and everything. And as far as like guides are going, I don't know if I'll be making any guides for Illusion Connect because I'm way too rusty. It's been too long since I've actually played like the actual game. 
but I just want to see how like things flow if any like mechanics change between characters if there's like any new meta characters is Miyuki still like dominating everything stuff like that I want to sort of just get into the flow and start like understanding the game again because all these new characters it really makes me feel like there's going to be a guardian or tank meta of some sort but I'm gonna have to do some reading before I make all of those assumptions but for the most part, um, here in chapter 18, I guess all of the stages, I don't know if they've been reduced or pretty much my characters are strong because I remember like chapter 18 being a little bit harder, but maybe it was because I was on hard mode or something, but maybe I can get to chapter 19 and go through a few things, but I have plenty of stamina definitely to run through and experience everything. Let's go ahead and go through trials. And I'm pretty sure there's been plenty of new daily trials added. Let's go ahead and go through the rooftop training. Yeah, there's definitely a new one here. Let's see if I can like go ahead and tackle it. Wait, can I, I have to be level 67. All right, well, I know I can tackle like all the other stuff. And let's go ahead and go through arena. That is probably going to be the largest indicator of my difference like in power with everything so let's go ahead and refresh just for the sake of it so 385,000, which is like roughly around my range because you know 330 is like where i'm at let's see if we can like fast rate anything yeah okay we still sort of got it i mean we're definitely in none tier so you know obviously not as many people are very active in this area but i just want to see if like my team can even like still play the game right because one of the biggest worries that i have jumping back into illusion connect is am i still relevant can i still do anything and will my characters just instantly die so seeing something like this where i can sort of jump into the game we got a failure right there and like just experience the game for what it's worth with what i have it's very nice because a lot of the times when you jump out of the game and jump back in the game's like no 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 you have to do all these things you have to participate in all these events blah 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 before you can even touch like you know the arena modes before you can even touch story or events so it's nice to see that I didn't lose all of my relevancy and I can somewhat play this. Do I have to manual this in order for me to be successful? All right, let's go ahead and manual this fight over here in arena if I don't get the win here. Let's just see what happens. You know, 405k obviously for me is like a huge difference, but I know probably most players now they're definitely much higher leveled. And usually I started out with this character for me specifically. I can see they have like definitely more skills here, at least on the top end. And that worries me just a little bit, obviously, because uh, I'm not sure what any of those means. Maybe that's just a little bit more power that they have, but maybe I'm worrying for no reason at the same time. Let's go ahead and drop this Miyuki here, see if things flow out appropriately. And then I'll cast the invincibility buff, see if they, th see if things are just going to go like the way I'm planning in my head. Because this was, I think, the runs that I usually did. Jemmy, we're immune to damage right there. Very, very nice. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and cast the Yuffie right here. Hopefully taking out the enemy team Jemmy. Damn, our invincibility buff ran out there. I'm not so confident, but let's see what's going to be happening here. Miyuki doing her thing. All right. Oh my gosh, we're definitely going to die here. Jemmy's going to take us out. Oh, we managed to stay alive. Can we pretty much get the win here? Is that asking for too much? Yeah, that's asking for too much because they got the kill. But anyways, obviously I'm Rusty. I need to get my grasp on a couple of things and understand my team a little bit better. Maybe I need to reorganize and do some summoning. I'm not sure what I'll do, but for the most part, I'm going to claim my stamina because I like how like this pack right here, like the monthly card, it is still relevant. You know, it's permanent, it's forever. So it's very nice to just get like five tickets and all this stuff right here. You know, I like the standard free stuff that Illusion Connect always gave. You know, while it's not much, it's still something and... It might not be the most free to play game because dupes are definitely a requirement in some situations but it's one of the games that i can always come back into get some free summons and just sort of you know fumble my way through a couple of things and see what everything is about but anyways that is it for today's illusion connect comeback video i just wanted to say like i'm playing the game i'm here i'm gonna try things out see how things are flowing and get back into the groove of things
but if you made it this far consider subscribing dropping a like leaving a comment follow me on twitch follow me on twitter once we hit 17,500 subs we'll be doing a giveaway let me know in the comments if you want more illusion connect content if not we can always you know pivot to other things but i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will see you in the next one